I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Capil Katecha, who is the chair of the Felton locality and is uh, leading on whole systems in Felton and also on the pathway to the locality. Um, Dr. Katecha, could you describe the your experience of working on the Pathfinder and Whole Systems to date? Okay, so we started on this project um, with the help of the CCG um, knowing that there's a huge issue with regard to integrated work. We realised that um, there is a burden war between social services and primary health care and one of the biggest issues was that um, the experience that uh, previous GPs have had in social services has been very consistently poor. Um, there's been very little in terms of communication, uh, there's been very little in terms of joint working, and uh, in fact, when you look at it, they're actually both trying to achieve the same thing for that one patient. However, this meant that a lot of resources was being used and duplicated, and a lot of waste was being created there. So, an example, one of the colleagues I spoke to, a GP, a very old school, but has been there for a while, knows the system through various changes. What are your experience in social services? I asked him, and he said, I have not seen my social service worker for 25 years. And I thought, this is amazing. This has to be looked at. And um, looking at the obvious benefits of working together is one of the reasons why we embarked on it. It was definitely a massive challenge and one that I felt if we went down the right path, clearly it would be really good for us as a practice, also us as a locality, but also houses are wide. Clearly, this was something that needed to be done and what time better than to start now than the horns, really. What ideas have you developed which should work well? So it all comes back to communication, IT, as well as uh, working together. Uh, recently, we've um, communication-wise, um, we've realised that uh, uh, meeting face-to-face, -face, um, but also using IT is, is very important, cuts down travel, and in fact, it works really well so that we can get together in, at, a, at a moment's notice for reactive as well as proactive cases. So we've trialled telephone conferencing um, uh, and, and also um, uh, virtual um, uh, ward rounds is something that we're trialling now at the moment. It's still work in progress, so I can't give you more on that. But the other aspect um, on this was also to, to see how we could all work together as a team in a multidisciplinary a disciplinary group or team working so that we can actually discuss our cases and catch them before they become an issue really. And what do you think, the, what's the future of integrated care in, in your locality? Um, the practices have started working on uh, their own care planning, which is a nice way to look at those that are at risk and we use stratified, risk stratified tools like the BERT, like the Frailty Index. And this gives us certain cohort of patients that attend a &E regularly, then another cohort of patients who are elderly with a lot of needs. Put them together and you have a care plan. Who can see the care plan? Only the GP. Clearly not useful. If everybody shared the same sort of IT system, we could then share the records and then everybody could see an input at the same time. This is happening. I'm really pleased to say urgent care centre, we can look at the record that they put any time. Um, community services by July, August, they should be part of the same system. It's a fantastic service for all patients. However, um, up until that happens, we need to then have a system in place where we can share information uh, together and share it in a way where uh, it's in the best interest of the patients. So as long as the patient is consented for it, we can then work together to find a way of um, reducing duplication and trying to get there sooner. So have a discussion about the patient or with the patient before they become ill, really. And the challenges, so what, what challenge, challenges do you hmm. see in so, delivering that? Okay. So challenges we felt were looking at the cultural uh, issues as far as general practice is concerned and I don't mean to shoot my own colleagues in the foot but uh, we're used to a situation where my problem I hand over now it's your problem well actually the patient is still going to be in exactly the same situation unless we take it jointly so having an integrated tool where all the care plans are in one place talking together and communicating with each other feeding back to each other 
here's what's happened with the patient, what's next? Case is now complete, can we discharge the patient back to actually having that one phone call, one email, having a single unit of contact between the system where it's very responsive all the time means you won't make everything urgent and has to happen today. In fact, you could say, yes, this patient can wait two weeks and therefore use the resource properly. So culture is a massive challenge. It's not going to change overnight. Patient expectations. Yes, it's a consumer society, but then we live in that world. We have to accept that. Patients are getting older. They are being discharged sicker in the community. Therefore, it does take a lot of time and resource. And this is one thing that we do need to be aware of. So as time goes on, I expect there's going to be more money that we'll need and resource that we'll need to help this run as it does. However, at the moment, the way I see it is until we get into a situation where we look at it as our patient and we look at it as joint working, this is a wonderful start because it's only going to help our patient. Then the cultural change, patient expectations, all of this will come in later. <clears throat> Thank you very much.